But the Centerpiece Hotel is gone just weeks before summer opening. There's no, for the, no place for the people to stay. Well, these are all the rooms. Just three years ago, fire devastated the island's other gay landmark, the Pines. It's rebuilt, and Cherry Grove residents say this will be too. This community is very strong. They stick together, and they will bring it back. The cause under investigation. Residents tell me roofing work was underway at the Holly House. Officials say nothing can be ruled out yet, including arson. In Cherry Grove, Fire Island, Carolyn Gussoff, TV 1055. A terrible loss. Now joining us is Sal Piero, the longtime general manager of the Grove Hotel and a consultant. Now, uh, Mr. Piero, we're so sorry for this heartbreaking loss. It's terrible. It's terrible. I worked there for 25 years. That's a long time. And my heart and soul is in the place, you know. Uh, Cherry Grove is an iconic place. It's one of the oldest gay communities in the world. Um, the Ice Palace and the hotel is the centerpiece of Cherry Grove. And it really, people are devastated by it. People have come there for decades. Uh, you know, you're right. It's, uh, it was almost super influential in, um, in putting across the gay lifestyle when it was not accepted in right. the world. Uh, people would go there that were not part of that lifestyle and, see, and their eyes would be open. Right? right. And it's a special place. No cars, boardwalks. It's, it's, it kind of has a mystical element to it. And know? it's well known for this, of course. Uh, the, <laughs> the contest, the drag contest, the Misfire Island. Misfire Island. We're celebrating 50th anniversary this year of the Miss Fire Island contest. And, and you know, it would bring celebrities, people from all walks of life would come to see this. We've had a great promoter who recently has brought us Liza Minnelli, Carol Channing, Cheetah Rivera. It's been quite, quite a ride. Well, of course, people want to know, are these events going to still be held this year? Well, the Ice Palace is still intact. And that's nearby. Bar. It was not burned down. Yeah, it's on the other side of the pool, right. actually. Uh, the hotel is, is, was burned to the ground, but the Ice Palace, as soon as all permits and things are done to get it going, uh, should, should be opening, and there'll be shows, and there'll be events, and there'll be lots of still going on, because people, people don't want this summer to go by and just see a devastating fire ruin the entire summer. What kind of uh, support have you gotten? I would imagine there's probably a tremendous outpouring. Tremendous. I mean, the internet was just blew up with people very upset. And they've started a campaign on GoFundMe.com slash Grove Hotel to collect money to help rebuild the place because they doubt if the insurance money is going to be enough. Well, I was just going to ask you, is the insurance going to cover this? I, I'm not really privy to all that stuff anymore because, you know, I retired. But um, it's going to be a lot. Because it's harder to build on Fire Island, as you know, than just on the mainland. No kidding. We saw that with Superstorm Sandy about how difficult it was to, for the, the crews to get in there and deal with uh, even the Army Corps of Engineers struggles with this uh, because of its remoteness. But that's also its charm. Yeah. You know, tell me about some of your favorite memories there. You've been there since 1990, I believe you told yes, me, as the I, general manager. As, and I've lived on in the community for 10 years before that. And so I've been out of Fire Island for like 35 years. And it's a special place. I mean, any time you can go to some place and just be yourself and not worry about other people talking about you and putting you down and stuff like that. And you're right, it was very big in the, in the gay movement. Yeah, because it's only really recent memory that uh, the, uh, the gay lifestyle has been more universally accepted by right. people because it was an area of, of right. discrimination. And the arts and television have been big on that and places like Provincetown and Cherry Grove and the Pines uh, and Palm Springs have really opened people's eyes to the gay lifestyle, there's nothing bad about right. it. You know what? People are being themselves. So now, what do we know about the investigation at this point? Have you heard anything? It's been about All I've time. heard is that it started at the Holly House, which is right across the way. Most of Cherry Grove is wood. If there had been a really, really, really bad wind that night, the, the whole community could have gone up. Well, and I guess they were doing some repairs there, right? Yeah, they were doing repairs or something. And I heard a rumor there was a heater on or something like that. When you're dealing with all wood, you've got to be very, very careful. And this is part of what will determine perhaps the insurance coverage, I would imagine. Exactly. So those are questions that can take months to decide. But in the meanwhile, there is this effort on what you say, GoFundMe? GoFundMe.com slash Grove Hotel. Well, we really appreciate you coming in and talking with us today. Thanks so much. And it, it, it means a lot to me to be able to talk about the place. Well, I know it'll go on. And we will see events there this summer. That, that's a guarantee? 
Thank you, Richard. All right. Thank you very much, Sal Piro, a longtime general manager and uh, consultant now of the uh, Grove Hotel, uh, which burned down, unfortunately, last week. But it's not over with uh, the effort already underway through GoFundMe to uh, bring back uh, this landmark uh, location and hotel. Thank you very much, Good. Mr. Piro. And still ahead for you, some exciting new breakthroughs that may offer hope to families dealing with the effects of autism. Stay with us.